It's Christina from the Lillooet Public Library. Welcome to Virtual Storytime. I first want to acknowledge and be grateful for being able to share with you today on the territory of the Stotlian people. Now today's story time is all about being silly. And that's why I'm wearing a little bit of a silly outfit today. Do you have something silly to wear or a costume? Why don't you go put it on and join me for this week's silly story time. We're going to start with a wake up song to wake up our bodies and get moving. I heard this on a virtual story time presented by the Vancouver Public Library on YouTube, and I put a link below this video in case you want to check out their videos later. Feel free to join it. So first we're going to wake up our hands like this. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands no more. Now let's wake up our arms with a flap, flap, flap. So, I wake up my arms with a flap, flap, flap. Flap, flap, flap. Flap, flap, flap. I wake up my arms with a flap, flap, flap. I wake up my arms no more. Now let's wake up our eyes with a blink, blink, blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, blink, blink. I wake up my eyes no more. Good job. Now we've got one more part of our body to wake up this morning, and that's our mouth, because we'll be singing another song. So, we're going to wake up our mouth with a brrrr. I wake up my mouth with a I wake up my mouth with a I wake up my mouth no more. Good job. I have two silly stories for you today, both by the same author, Mo Willems, who writes these awesome books and it's got a whole series with the elephant and piggy, as well as some other ones. So these are both written by Mo Willems um, and published by Hyperion Books for Children. So the first one is Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. And I think you'll like it a lot. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. Three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat, who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew, yuck. What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought it was a great idea. Clothes! The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? 
asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm, Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Ah, and then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, in a heroic, regal voice, gather the colony, I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation, a proclamation, a proclamation. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. You see, he's just got his socks on. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. Doesn't he look dashing? When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. There's Wilbur and his clothes store. Do you want to see a picture of a real naked mole rat? Well, here you go. They look pretty strange, eh? Now you've been sitting so very nicely listening to that story, but let's get up and moving with another silly song. This one is by Rafi and it's called I Want to Shake My Sillies Out. So you can shake your hands if you just want to do that. You could shake your feet or your whole body. So it goes like this. I want to shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, Shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my woggles away. Now there's another part that goes, I wanna clap, clap, clap my sillies out. So this part you can clap along. I wanna clap, clap, clap my sillies out, clap, clap, clap my sillies out, clap, clap, clap my sillies out and wiggle my woggles away. And then we can jump our sillies out too. I wanna jump, jump, jump my sillies out, jump, jump, jump my sillies out, jump, jump, jump my sillies out and wiggle my woggles away. Let's do the first part one more time. I wanna shake my sillies out. I wanna shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake shake my sillies out and wiggle my woggles away yay thanks that was fun why don't you have a seat again i have one more mo willem story for you and this one is called we are in a book this is we are in a book thank you hmm? piggy yes gerald I think someone is looking at us. Hmm. Someone is looking at us. Who is looking at us? A monster? No, it is a reader. A reader is reading us. How is a reader reading us? 
the reader is reading these word bubbles, we are in a book. We are in a book? That is so cool! Woo! We are in a book. We are in a book. We are being read. We are being read. Oh, I have a good idea. I can make the reader say a word. You can make the reader say a word? I can, if the reader reads out loud. That is a good idea. That is a funny idea. <laughs> Here I go. Ahem. Banana. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> the reader said, banana. <laughs> oh, the reader said it again. <laughs> <laughs> Banana, so funny. Do you want to turn before the book ends? Ends? The book ends? Yes, all books end. When will the book end? I will look. Page 57. Page 57? It is page 46 now. Eek! Now it's page 47. This book is going too fast. I have more to give. More words, more jokes, more bananas. I just want to be read. I have a good idea, said Piggy. That is a good idea. Hello, will you please read us again? I hope this works. Me too, said Piggy. And that's page 57, when the book ends. Well, this was a lot of fun, but it's time to go now. Thanks for listening to Virtual Storytime. Did you know that you can join myself and folks from the Infant Development Program for an in-person, outdoor, fun, and story time on July 28th at 11 a.m. at the Rec Center Park for kids six and under with their parents. But are you seven to 12? Did you know that you could sign up for the Summer Reading Club? Outdoor programs will be on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 11 a.m. starting on July 22nd. Registration is required as space is limited, so call the library soon. All right, see you later. Alligator. Gotta go, buffalo. Bye bye bye, butterfly. And hit the road, happy toad. Bye.